Hey YouTubers, it's that van guy again with another Jada casting spotlight. Today we're going to be checking out the Chevy Astro van from Jada. Uh, a lot of people, for some reason, they don't like Jada because the Jadas are usually not uh, scaled perfectly to 164. They usually run a little bit larger. Um, I don't mind it so much on some of the bigger castings like trucks and vans. Uh, because it's not so obvious uh, when comparing it to other vehicles that they don't seem that l much larger. Um, so today we're going to be checking out this uh, Chevy Astro van. Uh, most of them on the packaging are listed as uh, 2001 Chevy Astro van. Um, but there are a few packaging, uh, a few examples of the packaging where it just says Chevy Astro van where it doesn't have a year of the uh, vehicle. Uh, I wanted to, uh, start off with this blue van. I can't remember exactly where I got it. Um, but this one, it kind of looks like it's, uh, like a street low van from the street low series. Uh, but it doesn't have any, uh, tampo or deco or whatever on it. It's just metallic blue, which, uh, I did some research online and I couldn't find uh, a release like this it's just metallic blues and I can't remember because I've had it for a while I can't remember uh, where I got it from or what the packaging looked like so I'm not sure if I bought it loose and someone just uh, <clears throat> took some paint thinner or some sort of uh, uh, solvent and took the deco off and just left the paint underneath so I'm not 100% sure on that one on this particular van but I just wanted to show it to you um, I did some research online and checked out a couple different websites. Couldn't really find a lot of info on these Jadas, but, uh, I didn't see any example of this one, uh, listed anywhere. So that's where we'll start. Uh, there's two different, um, lines, and this Dub City line is really, uh, the most common. So if you're looking for these on eBay, the Dub City ones are very, very common. Uh, you find a lot of those. Um, most of them are like this uh, black van um, where they say Dub on the side. Now they come in a lot of different kinds of packaging. <coughs> um, sometimes you'll find them already uh, assembled in just... Uh, a pack like this uh, chrome one here where it's just uh, the vehicle already assembled all put together uh, there also are um, some kind of like model kits where it comes like this blue one here <clears throat> it comes with the uh, the body and the chassis and the interior and a set of wheels uh, and like a screwdriver. And um, there are some versions. I can show uh, some pictures. There's like a version of this or of the black one that only has one set of wheels. Four wheels included. So you didn't really have an option as far as what wheel style you wanted to go with. Then there was this bigger pack that came with two sets of wheels. And I just wanted to highlight um, one thing that I really like about uh these jadas is they use real wheels like real manufactured wheels that you could buy and put on your vehicle if you take a look here uh it has two different sets of wheels and the top set is <clears throat> a lorenzo wheel lorenzo brand and it even says what model the ld2 and then the bottom wheel is a KMC wheel company, and they're the SS. So you, you got your choice between uh, real aftermarket wheels that you could buy and put on your own vehicle, which makes it extra cool, like Hot Wheels and, and Johnny Lightning. They don't generally have uh, brand name wheels that you could, you know, go out and buy and put on your personal vehicle. These are all real wheels modeled after uh, real companies 
These are the KMC SS's or the Lorenzo LD2. So if you want like a muscle car five spoke looking wheel, or if you prefer like a six spoke wheel, on this particular packaging, you got two different options. But they were sold as a model kit that only came with one set of wheels where you didn't have a choice. And then they were also sold uh, like that uh, chrome one back there where it's just, it's already uh, assembled and complete in the package and no assembly required. So a lot of different variations on how these were packaged. Um, as far as the Dub Cities go, uh, there were four different colors. Uh, there's this black one that has the that are, uh, Dub City release that says Dub on the side. So you got this black version. Again, it came in multiple uh, kits, so they might not all have the same wheels. You know, it came in a, a kit with four, uh, eight wheels or two sets, so you could customize it and put your own, you know, choose which wheel you want. So there's the black one. Then there's this uh, blue one. And uh, I'm going to open this up and show you what's included in this model kit. I probably, I'm going to put it together, but I probably won't put it together on on video. I'll just give you a before and after just so the video is not so long and so you don't have to listen to me swear while I try to put it together. Uh, I'm not a big fan of these model kit type things. Um, like I've gotten them from M2 and sometimes they're really a pain to put together. So you got the chassis. Looks like you got like a little baggie with some axles in it. And maybe a screw. Then you got uh, the body with the grill and the glass already in it. And it looks like it's got a the screw holes in the front where the screw goes in to hold it together right here. So you got that. Then you got, looks like the interior piece. And then we've got all the little wheels. Now I'm kind of partial to uh, muscle car looking wheels. I kind of prefer the five spokes. So I think that's what I'm going to put on this one. And uh, I'll just keep the extra wheels. Maybe for some sort of a custom in the future. Yeah, I think it only comes with two sets of axles. And then it comes with uh, the screwdriver. It says Dub City on it. So wish me luck, guys. I'm going to try to put it out, put it together, and then I'll be back with you to show you how it went and what it looks like completed. Okay, guys, we're back. I uh, was able to put it together without too much trouble, actually. Uh, I'd much rather put one of these Jada kits together than an M2 kit. It went together much easier. You didn't have to... Uh, Stretch the tires onto the rims. <clears throat> they came already together. Uh, they went on, the axles went into the wheels pretty easily. Just have to make sure you kind of uh, put a, one wheel on each side and then squeeze the axle evenly in between. And then try not to squeeze it too tight so that they're not snug against the chassis. So the wheels still roll freely. Uh, here's some of the, see if I can show some of the instructions. It's really pretty easy. Pre-painted, ready to assemble, die-cast metal model kit instructions. Place interior into body. Push wheel posts into wheels. Screw chassis to body. Pretty easy. No glue, just a screwdriver. Skill level one. And you can take a look at the diagram there. Pretty easy. It has a little uh, it has a little tab that fits into the back here, and then you put the screw in the front. And at first, I thought you know I wasn't 
I seemed like I was screwing it in a lot, and I'm like, I hope I'm not stripping out the screw, but it did have a stop where it felt like it all of a sudden it got tight. So, uh, you know, you will screw in quite a bit, and then it will get tight. So it just has a little tab that fits into the bumper in the back here, and then this front screw holds it all together. And the wheels roll. So there's the blue version just like <clears throat> the black version so these are the dub city ones you got blue and you got black uh, on the the black it's a little easier to see the dub uh, lettering on the blue it's pretty fine like uh, when you're buying it if you're buying it on eBay you have to look close uh, you might not even be able to see the dub writing in the picture. You might have to zoom into it or get a closer picture. So, there's that one. Uh, next up we have the uh, red one from the Dub City. And this is the only one that has flames. This is a really cool one and it's also a fairly common one. This is from the Dub City release uh, series. Um... But this red one doesn't say dub on it like the other ones do. This is, uh, it's got a flame job on it. This, uh, cool multicolored flames. So that's really cool. It's too bad they didn't make, uh, more colors of this version with this flames because I think it's pretty awesome. But this is the only one that has flames that, to my knowledge, is this red version. And that's also from the Dub City line. And then we have... Uh, last but definitely not least from the Dove City series uh, is this uh, platinum or chrome. And uh, I'm not sure if this is like some sort of a special edition. It says Plat Platinum Limiteds Series Number 1. And it looks kind of like they just stuck an extra sticker inside the packaging. But this one uh, is not very common. I don't see it on eBay very often. So glad to have this one. And uh, I was just saving them in the packaging for when I had them all so I could do the video. That's a little, little fake magazine. I'm not sure. It looks like it's got a, a Chevy Astro van on there, so that's kind of cool. And then comes with this little cardboard pedestal. And here's the, the platinum version. Take a closer look. Now you can see this one still has the dub lettering on it, but it is kind of a fine print, uh, fine outline, so it's not real easy to see the dub word on the sides. But this is a pretty neat piece. I don't think this one is that common. This uh, chrome or platinum might have been some sort of a special release. I'm not sure about that. So that's it for the Dub City line of these uh, Jada Astro Vans. Just set them up here. Now, uh, next up, we have uh, this Street Low series or Street Low line. And there was quite a few versions of that as well. Uh, the Street Low Vans came in four different colors. Uh, here's this, uh, one of the more common ones. This is the black one. And they're all pretty much exactly the same. They all pretty much have the same deco or graphics on them. They're just kind of like a uh, lowrider style pinstriping. And they're slammed to the ground with uh, like Dayton type wheels or uh, wire wheels. Correct. Uh, yeah, I think they're like Dayton's or like, you know, low rider style uh, wire wheels. And this is the black one. Then they came out with, uh, if you want to take a look at the packaging, they have this orange one. Here's the, some of the packaging. Rolling on dubs. 2001 Chevy Astro van. I'll pause it 
pause if you want to read it you can pause it hold it for a second if you want to read some of the packaging and they had obviously multiple different vehicles besides just the van but i'm a van guy so i just was interested in the vans pretty much now there also is a set of these street lows uh that don't have chrome wheels but ha actually have gold wheels and a gold grill bar and i'll show that uh because i recently i finally picked up the blue one the one that i've been uh waiting to find and uh i found out it had gold wheels on it and a gold uh grill bar which is different than the other three that I had. So there's the orange one. Then we got this white one. Pretty much the same exact packaging. Just a, just a different color variation. Just uh, white. So let's check out this white version. Again, same, pretty much same uh, lowrider style deco, just some different shaped pinstriping and just a different color. This one's the white one. And then we have uh, this blue one. And this one happens to be the one with the gold wheels and the gold grill bar. I'm not really sure why. If they had uh, like a chase set or something like that, if this was like a chase piece because it had gold wheels or maybe it was just two different versions. Uh, I think the chrome wheel versions, chrome wheel and grill versions are much more common than these gold wheel version, this gold wheel version. Um, so it's kind of good that I accidentally, uh, I was looking for this blue one for a while. This blue one's pretty rare. Uh, it seems like it's hard to find on eBay and other sites when you're trying to buy it used or, you know, loose or carded. I had a real hard time finding this blue one. Um, and it was, uh, went for quite a bit more than the other ones do. So, uh, it took me quite a while to find a blue one. I've seen a few, but they are, they are priced pretty high and I just didn't want to pay it. So I waited and waited and I finally just broke down and bought one. Uh, but like I said, I you don't see them come up on eBay very often, this blue version. For whatever reason, it seems like this blue version is more rare. So, it's kind of cool that I just stumbled across this gold wheel variation. Just so I had one example of the gold wheel and chrome, I'm sorry, the gold wheel and gold grill uh, version. Because I'm not really a wheel variation collector. I just like to have like one paint scheme of each one or each color um, of the body. But I'm not really into collecting multiples of the exact same one just because it has a slight wheel variation. So I really doubt I'm going to be buying any more of these gold versions. Uh, I'm just happy to have one of each release. And uh, the uh, Street Low... Again, here are the four street low releases. So you got the four street low releases. I believe there actually was a red one that I do not have. Uh, I've never seen it anywhere but on this uh, diecast database, so I don't know for sure. If, um, you know, how uh, rare it is or if it was even really produced. Maybe it was just a pre-production photo and then it never got made. Because I've never seen one for sale. But here's the white street low. The orange street low. Both with the chrome wheels. Then you got the black street low with the chrome wheels. And then here's the blue street low with the gold wheels and grill bar. Then over here we got the Dub City again, uh, the Black Dub City release, Blue Dub City release, the uh, Platinum or Chrome Dub City release, 
and then the red Dub City release, and the red one has the flames. And then, uh, last but not least, we have one more that is a five-pack exclusive. Uh, it's calling, I think it says on the package, uh, Rolling Five Deep, Dub City, Five Deep, five-pack. And it had the Chevy Astro van in it. And it's uh, fast dry cleaning. Fast dry cleaning van. So that one is a five pack exclusive. So look for that one. In the rolling deep five pack. And that's pretty much it. Uh, like I said, there's a red. Um, there's a red street low. A uh, Chevy Astro van that I don't have. Uh, I'd be looking to get one if I if somebody out there in YouTube land has one, an extra. Uh, hit me up on uh, that van guy's Facebook page. Send me a message. Uh, there's also uh, two that I don't have uh, that were listed as uh, pre-production examples on the database. I've never also never seen those for sale on eBay, and, and I'm on eBay quite a bit. I've been searching for them for a while. There's two different versions. I'll include a, a picture from the website of the ones that I'm talking about in the video, if I can. Uh, the first one of the three that I don't have is, again, that red street low with the chrome wheels. I don't believe that was ever released in a gold version. It looks exactly like the other street low, same exact graphics. It's just a red, the graphics are on a red van. Uh, second one I don't have is... Dub City Heat, supposed to be from the Dub City Heat line, and it was a black and white police van. It was mostly black with white doors, I believe, or vice versa. And it was a black and white police van. Uh, it was listed as a pre-production on the database, so maybe it never got uh, actually produced it might have just been a, a pre-production sample and then they didn't actually produce it because I've never seen one for sale or anywhere else but the website and then the third one that I'm missing or that I don't have is another pre-production photo that I found uh, it was a red Dub City Heat Um, fire department van. So it said Dub City Fire Department on it, and it was red, and it had a light bar on top, just identical to the uh, police version, but it was red, and it said Fire Department on it, and that was also from the Dub City Heat line, supposedly, but like I said, I've never seen it for sale. So uh, I'll try to include photos of all these, and uh, if you guys uh, do have an extra, uh, leave me a comment down below or uh, hit me up on my Facebook page, That Van Guy, and we could do some trading or uh, I could buy it outright if, if you're just looking to sell. But that's pretty much it for the Jada Casting Chevy Astro Van. And these are pretty much all of the releases right here. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, uh, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and check out my Facebook page, That Van Guy. Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. Have a great day.